Ah, Macclesfield, here we are. Population, uh, in 2011, that's an old one. Population, 56,000. That's not bad. Wow, really, it's been day. Look at them all. These kind of uh, avenues work particularly well in uh, in Google Street View VR that I've got. The buildings are just the right height, just the right distance from the camera. It's a very good illusion of 3D. The cars, not so much. Oh, it's very stormy looking. I'm going to pedal faster. Ah, the storm is gone, just like that. All I have to do is turn left and the storm goes. Ah, Bollington. We're in Bollington, 7,000 people. It's one thing about England compared to Scotland. All the towns are very close to each other. I can't cycle for more than half an hour before I come to another town, another village. Presbury. We're in Presbury. Ah, Addington. What an odd place to put some new flats. In the middle of the country. There's nothing else around here. Why would you want to live there? Well, it still says Addington, but I've seen no sign of it yet. Maybe those flats were it. That's all it is. And all 9,000 people are crammed into those four flats. And thus, Mega City One was born. That is literally the only thing I know about Judge Street. <laughs> Poynton. I mean, Poynton. Population 15,000. Day 58, it's the 7th of August. It's quite nice, the main street of Poynton is all paved. Oh, that's a nice row of houses there. Ah, Stockport. Here we are. That's a mighty rail bridge. It's a lot of arches. Oh, protest. Oh. Probably protesting that my name, town name thing doesn't work. And I thought it was Hazel Grove, and it's not. Apparently Stockport was once the place for hats. They sold a lot of hats here, and the last hat store shut down in 1997. I like how in the old days, towns used to be known for something. You'd have the silk town, and the hat town, and the chicken giblets town, and but now they're all just homogenized and all the same. Ah, finally, Stockport. Population, 105,000. That's more like it. Get stuffed. Stockport is the beginning of a long parade of buildings and buildings and buildings going into the center of Greater Manchester. These big buildings work quite well, actually, in VR. It's the first time I've um, come across such big buildings so close up. They work pretty well. Like all industrial cities, it's got its fair share of chimneys. It's the Hat Museum. <laughs> the Hat Museum. Now that's a big building. Presumably an old hat mill or something. Fur goes in one end, hats come out the other. Ah, a Tesla dealer. You don't see many of those. Not yet. Pound Palace. Gay life, pet and aquatic centre. Whew, this area has seen better days. Everything's boarded up and demolished. Maybe it's not, maybe this is the best it's ever been. Now it was actually worse before. Home care furnishings and there's nothing but cardboard boxes outside. <laughs> maybe that's all they sell. By the way, if you're, leaving, if you're uh, living in Manchester, leave a comment and say, I live in Manchester, you just went past my house. I was waving out the window at you, but you didn't see me. Or words to that effect. Well, you can tell there's an airport nearby. <laughs> this guy's full of contrails. <laughs> the O2 Apollo. Uh, Manchester University? I'm not sure which one, I couldn't read the sign. Also, it was Manchester and University. The Metropolitan University is what it is. I almost got to read that. Now we're in Manchester. Aha! We're finally here. 
510,000 people. It really feels like I'm in amongst some really tall buildings. I've seen so many miles of paddocks and trees and things. It's nice to see some big flat structures. I just realized it's funny how I'm so impressed when the street view data actually works. <laughs> I'm so used to being it all just munged together. Oh, that building just changed before my eyes. It went from gray to red and then back to gray again. How can that be? Aha, there it is again. What the? But that one's still gray over there. It's magic. Day 60, it's the 10th of August. Oh, look at that traffic. It's a traffic jam. I'm glad I'm not in that. <laughs> and the traffic is gone. Hooray! That fellow's driving in the bus lane. It's a learner. Get out of the bus lane. Oh, it looks like we're in Swinton with a population of 25,000. And that's all I can tell you about it. Ah, here we are. The M61. Preston, Wigan, and Bolton. And I'm in the country. That's quite nice. Ooh, it's very shady in here. One thing I've realised since doing this, my geography is atrocious. I know nothing about England at all. Hopefully I'll know a little bit more after this. And you know what I forgot to do? Anti-fog spray again. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. It's Brian's carpets. I often wonder what Britain would look like without cold. It would be quite a different place. <laughs> Richardson and Co. Steely products. <laughs> They're kind of steely. I think I might be lost. I don't know what town this is. And it says none. Pony carrots and pet food. I wonder what makes them pony carrots. Oh, it's a big statue. I missed it. Aha! West Hofton. <laughs> URL accessed, 29th May 2007. Hmm. Quite like looking into people's windows to see if anybody's staring out at them at me. Unaware that the Google camera was going past. No one ever waves at the Google camera car. I wish they would. I've seen one group of kids waving in my whole journey so far. Ah, there's one of those houses that have said they don't want to be seen and they've blurted up. I wonder how you do that. There must be a sign-up process somewhere that says, Don't show my house. I think that's my second Royal Oak I've seen on my journey. There must be a lot of them. It's quite a nice time of day. I think it's early morning. Hardly anyone around. Nice and quiet. <laughs> it looks like a small man riding on top of my roof. <laughs> Whee! The balloon shop in a church. Must be holy balloons. Ooh, we've got some travellers by the look of it. <laughs> Bit of a buggy. Oh. Got their horses out. Oh, there's lots of them. They're very well trained, but don't go on the road. Well, I'm now in Chorley. Population 36,000. Nothing much useful there, but I can tell you it was the southernmost point of England to be raided during the Great Raid of 1322 by Scotland. Hooray! I had an interesting email from a man uh, wondering if this could be used by um, wheelchair bound people. And apparently, you get these little not full exercise bikes, but just the pedal part, and you put it in front of your wheelchair and you can exercise your legs. I think it's fantastic that, um, that this could be used for people who can't get out and about outside very easily on a bike. Someone's been scraping something along the ground here. Either that or they've been dragging a tiger. 
Actually, I think the photo section is probably my favourite part of the blog. I like seeing all the strange things that people do. Oh, I'm going around the wrong way, around the roundabout. A big one. That's never happened before. Oh, that's a nice hall of some kind, whatever that is. Another through road, great. What have we got here? Ah, city of Preston, there we go. I'm now in Preston. Recycle my kitchen, okay. Didn't know that was a thing, recycling your kitchen. That's a good thing. M-O-L. What does that mean? Something of something? Let's face it, I have no idea where I'm going. I just let Google take me. I should probably say, if you're watching Mr. and Mrs. Google, thank you for your maps. They're very nice. Please don't sue me. Looks like rush hour traffic again. Someone asked me a question today, has anybody else tried this Cycle VR thing? And it only just occurred to me then, I'm the only one who's tried this, I haven't tried it on anybody else. So it might be rubbish for everybody else, but perfect for me. Who knows? Normally when I'm speaking to people, they say, what's your favourite town you've been through so far? But today I had someone ask me, what's the, what's the most rubbish town you've been through so far? Now, I'm not going to name names, but you can find them in my previous videos. It turns out Preston wasn't a city until 2002. There was a collection of smaller towns and they all got together and then formed a big town and it was like a little club for all the little towns. And they called it City of Preston Club. Ah, smoking pastures again. I haven't seen those for a while now. Dear Mr. Google, I really don't want anybody to see my house. They must be very ashamed of their house to have it hidden. I don't want anybody looking at my house. Perhaps I was standing naked in the window I didn't realise. <laughs> Day 64, it's the 17th of August. Ah, Catterall. Guessing that's Catterall over there in the distance. What is it with people around these parts? They just don't want anybody to see their house. What's wrong with your house? It's probably a lovely house. See? Here's a nice one, it's pink. Ah, Garstang. 6,779 people. And there we have it. 700 kilometers, yeah! I must say that was a bit out of character. I shan't do that again. <laughs> 